Okay, today I'm going to be talking about how a slinky drops. Did you get that? Okay, so if you notice, the bottom of the slinky looks like it's just standing in midair until the top of it catches up with it. Okay, so the reason this happens because the only way that the bottom of the slinky can know when to start falling is when the tension in the line decreases, but the tension in the line can't decrease until the pressure wave catches up with it. And the pressure wave moves through the slinky at a finite speed. And so when you release the top, the pressure wave travels through and as soon as the bottom feels that pressure wave, it can start falling. So I first saw a slinky drop movie from Veritasium, but they left out one critical point. They left out comparing where the center of mass of the slinky is compared to when it drops overall. But you can also think of it that the center of gravity starts falling as soon as you release it. So you can't fool gravity. The center of gravity of the slinky is actually falling at the same acceleration as if you dropped a ball at about the center of gravity height here. So it's easy to believe that the bottom of the slinky can wait there almost weightless in midair as the top of the slinky catches up, but what if we tied a weight to it, like a roll of duct tape or something? Would the roll of duct tape just stay there in midair while the top of the slinky caught up with it? Let's check it out. Okay, now we're gonna do a gigantic slinky off the top of my roof. And let's see how long the bottom of the slinky stays suspended in midair before the pressure wave of the top of the slinky reaches the bottom. So what's amazing about this is that the top of the slinky hits the ground before the bottom of the slinky, which was only a few feet off the ground. Hey, thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed to the Action Lab, remember to subscribe. Look the big slinky you have there. Let's see what it looks like. The big slinky. How big is it? <laughs>